Okay guys, it is time for another Demise of Bubbles video. This is gonna make number three, and today we're actually fixing the broken control arm. So stay tuned. So in between the rain this afternoon, I've been out here plugging away at getting this whole mess out of the way. I managed to get the broken pieces of the control arm out here as well as here and they came out very, very easily. No rust. Those of you who know what it's like to take control arm bushings out know that normally you got to struggle with the torches and all that stuff. A couple of wrenches, they fell right out. So we're going to go inside. We're going to get that all taken care of. We're going to weld up that control arm at least so we can get it back on the vehicle and uh, then we're going to put everything back together. That way we can roll the car up onto the trailer when it comes time to blow up bubbles, which is coming very, very soon. So having said that, let's go in and take a look and see what Tim's up to. And for those who are wondering about Junior's car, it is back and tomorrow, Friday, we will be tackling the motor swap one more time. And if you're wondering where Junior has been in the shop, well, the Junior doesn't work for me anymore. He fired me. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't give Alex enough hours, so he is a proud Canadian Tire employee back where I used to work for seven years and uh, he's doing very well getting lots of hours and how are you enjoying the job so far eh, it's not bad not bad not bad make sure you say something good in case your boss is watching <laughs> <laughs> anyways having said that junior no longer works with us uh, if we do need him on special occasion I'm sure that he'd be more than happy to come out and get a few extra hours always always so here's the whole assembly laying on the shop floor. You see, we got the axle out. We are missing a little piece of the bearing, which is in the back of bubbles. And we took the whole control arm, which is just two bolts on that ball joint. If you ever go into a shop to get a, a lower ball joint, I've said it before on this channel, two bolts hold that thing in place on the actual spindle, three bolts in the control arm. They're generally very simple and quick to change out. Anyways, Tim's over here. He's got the welder out and we are going to get this thing kind of gu uh, gummed back together. I know I'm not saying that Tim's welding is gum, but I mean, have you seen his welding? So you can see where this one broke. The line is pretty even over here. It's a little bit of a different story. This one bent out of the way fairly good. So it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge to get that one stuck together. But in the meantime, Tim, take her away. So now we have a one piece lower control arm. I'm gonna take it over to the vehicle here and see if it, uh, the holes line up. That way we can get the bolts back in it and put it back together. So let's take a look. So we tried the third time and the third time was not the charm. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna do a little bit of uh, fine tuning. And then hopefully the fourth time we'll be able to get it back in. And part of the trouble with making this work is that Bubbles is here and the power for the welder is way over there. And some of you might be thinking, well, just run an extension cord. Well, when you're running an extension cord on a uh, 110 welder, MIG welder, it's, uh, it loses a lot of current through that. And we're probably a good, oh, 75 to 100 feet away from, from the uh, nearest plug-in. So anyways, we'll try tweaking it one more time getting it back in here and see how it goes. So fifth time was a charm. We've got the uh, control arm in there. Uh, we'll be able to make it a lot easier to put everything back together without this attached to the whole spindle assembly. We've got some friggin' to do here to get that bolt down in here, but that's not a big deal. At least if we can get everything in and get it rolling, we can push it into the shop and then do some minor tweaking to it. Anyways, I'm confident we're going to come back here tonight and try and put this thing back together. Okay, so every minute we are getting closer and closer to getting bubbles back together. We've got the strut in where it needs to go. But the trouble we're having is getting the axle lined up into the axle shaft on the transmission. And the ball joint lined up down here. So I got to get Tim over here. He's going to give me a hand trying to wedge this into place. So we've got the ball joint in at the bottom. 
the tie rods hooked back up and the axle seems to have slid into place so now we're going to pull the jack stand out and drop it down and she'll be on her own weight And there she is folks, that wheel is turned to the right ever so slightly. This one's a little more than slight. Like I said before, who needs an alignment? So I've got the booster pack, I've got the keys, we're going to see if it'll start and move once again under its own power. Alright, she's going to start. Yes she does. i got to remember she's got no brakes either Tim. We tore off the brake line on this side. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see if we can get over to the shop under its own power. Hopefully we don't stall her. Make use of that handbrake. <laughs> She's making noises. Been to get some duct tape. Must be right up against the... <laughs> we got to remember that control arm is not completely in there yet either, right? We can do slow back and forth like this. As long as it doesn't want to ride up on itself, we'd be all right, I think. So just a slight rub, it'll buff, it'll buff. But we didn't have a control arm bolt in that front bushing because it didn't quite line up. So that's what we're gonna try and get it into the shop for, but I don't know. We're making progress, yep. we got it this far. Now if you can jig it back and forth till you get it in there. Well, I think our best bet might be to jig it and back it in. Yeah. Because I don't think we're going to get it to turn that way going forward. Oh, yeah. You think so? Yeah. Try right. it could have. <laughs> so we did not get in last night, but we came in early this morning. Uh, we got everything put back together. We've got the control arm in the front in place. As well as the back one. So now we're going to set it down on the ground. And hopefully, we should be able to take it for a drive and really not have to worry about uh, any uh, issues. Okay, let's try this. No noises so far. Okay, maybe a little bit of rattling. Oh. That's just from where we had the fender all bent up. <laughs> clearance out of the way and we should be fine. Second gear. <laughs> oh shoot, that's good. Oh, cut the wheels and no major grinding going that way. So I'm quite pleased with that. You know, we go through everything that we went through here with bubbles, tire falling all over the place, and we were able to drive it up to the top of the parking lot, 
fix it again, drive it into the shop, fix it almost semi-permanently again, just so that we can blow it up. So how crazy is that? Anyway, stay tuned guys, we're gonna close out this video. And there we have it guys, Bubbles lives once again, just, well, at least long enough to get it to Mexico, to get it blown up. So as we close out this video, I wanna thank everybody who's been following along for the demise of Bubbles. And yes, the very next video you see regarding Bubbles, will be the demise of bubbles granted you guys have got to get me to 2,000 subscribers in order for me to release that video I'm recording it in two days on Sunday but I'm not going to release it until we hit that milestone of 2,000 subs so please share with your friends if they're into cars and anything related to cars they're gonna like this channel it's clean it's family friendly and we have a ton of fun also on Thursday evenings on this channel we share a live show called the car guy and six fan show with straight six fan who is grant tommy his link is the second one in the description box below you can go down there subscribe to his channel and each week we alternate the live show back and forth between his and mine t-shirts i've got t-shirts available for my channel old car auto guy the original t-shirt the focus on the windshield t-shirts as well as the new demise of bubbles t-shirts you can get your very own at the first link in the description box below that is my spread shirt store go on in there see what you like many colors and those three different designs to choose from guys stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror i love you all god bless let's do it again real soon